Hi guys, this is Miss Matthews, fifth grade. So, what we are on. We are on lesson 28, session 3, page 583. And our learning target is I can classify 2D figures. Okay, so <clears throat> let's start. I want you to try this one. Draw a tree diagram to show the relationships between these three categories of shapes. Triangles, acute triangles, and polygons. Okay, ready? Thank you. Let's see. So to do a tree diagram, I'm going to do, because we did this in the last um, lesson, what is the most general of these shapes? The most general shape is a polygon. So I'm going to put polygon up here where all sides are equal and all angles are equal. And then my second shape I'm going to put under there, my next most specific shape would be a triangle. And then even more specific is an acute triangle. Do you know what an acute triangle is? The sides are less than 90 degrees. So we're going to do acute triangle right there. All right. Okay, let's move on to the next one. There you go. Purple. Purple. Thank you. Do you want me to pause? So that's just my five-year-old who is helping me with markers. All right, so let's look yep. at this one. Explain. I can't really see it. A, a regular polygon has all sides of equal length and all angles of equal measure. Which shapes below are subcategories of regular polygons? So here we have squares, pentagons, equilateral triangles, and hexagons. So what are we going to do? It's going to be squares and equilateral triangles. Because all of those, right, they are equal sides. They're all sides are equal and the angles are all the same. So those two would be the answers for that one. Okay. And can I take this one? Yep. Thank you. Sharon, you ready to go? Yeah. All right. So let's look at this one. So number two, a tree diagram can use two lines to show subcategories that do not overlap. Jose drew these two diagrams to show how subcategories of triangles are related. Are his diagrams correct? explain. So he has a triangle here and then he has scalene, he has isosceles and equilateral. Now is this correct or not? It is correct because a scalene triangle, right, all these sides could be different lengths. They could be different lengths, doesn't matter. But isosceles triangle Need to be quiet. An isosceles triangle have two sides that are the same, at least two sides are the same, right? And an equilateral triangle, it does satisfy the requirement of two sides being the same. Actually, all three sides are the same. So this way you have triangles into two categories, scalene and isosceles. Isosceles, right? Two sides, same. And scalene, all sides are different. And if we look at the Venn diagram, it does show that too, because equilateral is a subcategory of isosceles, and then you have the separate of scalene, because they don't intersect at all. They don't share similar traits, properties. All right, let's move on to number three. All right, so we're at number three. This number three says, so re let's just recap. One is explain, two is analyze, and three is create. So we're going to describe the attributes of a shape that is both a rectangle and a rhombus. Name the shape and use the grid to draw an example. All right. So what could be a rectangle and a rhombus? So we know that a rectangle has four sides. And a rhombus has four sides. Do we remember what a rhombus is? So 
it could be something like like that right but the rhombus you would know it it's shaped like a diamond and what shape i know a parallelogram right a parallelogram has all the features of a rectangle and a rhombus because we have four equal sides and who can think of what else does it have four right angles so four equal side lengths and four right angles. Also a square has all the same attributes, right? Same things, same here, same here. Four side lengths equal and four right angles. All right, let's move on to the next one. Okay, so we are at number four. So we are doing number four. And number four says, Jake makes a tree diagram to show a hierarchy of polygons. Explain why his tree diagram is not correct and then explain what changes need to be made. Can I have this marker, please? Thank you. So he starts off with polygons, right? And then he goes to quadrilaterals, which is fine. So far, so good. Quadrilaterals, all quadrilaterals have four sides, right? And then he went on to pentagon. This can't be a subcategory of quadrilaterals because this has five sides, right? So that's not the same. It must satisfy the same properties that are in the upper category. So we know this one's out. And then he has rectangles and parallelograms. So what we need to do here, parallelograms is not a subcategory of rectangles, but actually rectangles are a subcategory of parallelograms. So we need to exchange them. And why? Because parallelograms, although it has four sides, it has two sides that are parallel. A rectangle doesn't, right? So a rectangle has four sides. This has four sides but also two sides that are parallel to each other. So we need to also remember that. And part B, draw a tree diagram or Venn diagram to show the order of the five categories in part A. All right, uh, marker, let's get um, this purple one and put that one back. Thank you. Okay, let's do a tree diagram. So we're gonna start with Polygon. So to accommodate the pentagon, I'm going to do this. I'm going to put the pentagon by himself. And then I'm going to start with quadrilateral. And then I'm going to go to parallelogram. And then I'm going to go to a rectangle. All right, let's move on. So number five. Okay. Are rhombuses a subcategory of parallelograms or are parallelograms a subcategory of a rhombus? So rhombuses are a subcategory of parallelograms. Okay, listen to that carefully, rewind if you want. So a rhombus is a quadrilateral with two pairs of parallel sides, just like a parallelogram, but a rhombus also has four sides of equal length. A parallelogram does not necessarily, doesn't need to have four sides of equal length. It's like a rectangle, but like shifted because they're parallel to each other. So. A rhombus is a quadrilateral with two pairs of parallel sides like a parallelogram. Remember, a rhombus has four sides of equal length, but not all parallelograms have this attribute. Some parallelograms have two sides of equal length and two pairs of parallel sides. Okay, listen to that carefully because you might need to rewind to understand what that says. 
I'm gonna write this right here for you so you'll understand. Right, William? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. All right. So let's just revisit our living target, which is I can classify 2D figures. All right. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Thank you. See you next time. Bye, guys. That was tough. That was a tough one.